In this video, we're looking at 3D figures or solids and what they are made up of. So let's go ahead and start with faces. Faces are flat surfaces and they are polygons. That means the edges around the faces are straight. There are no curved edges. So you can see here's a face, there's a face, there's a face. There are actually several faces here. I can count five. And on this shape, there are no faces because this top part here is not a polygon. It must be a polygon to be a face. No curved edges. The other thing we talked about are edges. So edges are really straight segments. So these aren't edges here, but you can see all of these are edges on this polygon. So this is a pyramid. Again, no edges on the curved uh, um, solid, but yes, we have about eight edges on this pyramid. Now, a polyhedron is a special type of 3D solid. It only has faces that are polygons. So it's composed all completely of faces. There are no curved surfaces, and there are at least three or more faces to make it. Now, uh, the bases, we will, those are not necessarily polygons. They can be curved around the edges. They must be flat. Most cases, most of the solids we'll be talking about will have zero to two bases. Um, usually you'll have a top and a bottom. That's what we're referring to as the base. Now the lateral uh, surfaces, lateral meaning side, that's not a base. So in this shape here, there are no flat surfaces, so there are zero bases. On this shape, there is a flat surface on bottom, but not a matching one on top. So this has one base. On this one, we have two flat surfaces that go together, and so this shape has two bases. Notice the base can be a polygon or it might not be a polygon. Now lateral faces are polygons that are on the side. So we'll be looking primarily at the lateral faces of two types of uh, solids. One is a prism. So here's an example of a prism here where it has uh, two bases and here are the lateral faces. How do I know something's a prism? Is if the sides are made up of rectangles, if the lateral faces are rectangular. The bases can be uh, any other polygon. It could be a triangle, it could be a pentagon, a hexagon, but the side faces have to be rectangles. Pyramids are kind of like prisms, except they have side faces that are triang uh, triangles, triangular. And so in this case, you can see this is a pyramid. See how the base is a rectangle? That just means it's a rectangular pyramid. But it's still a pyramid because all four of the lateral faces, in this case, are triangles. So if we're trying to um, use nets to figure out what the 3D solids are, well, what it, first of all, what is a net? A net is something I can fold up to make the original solid. Uh, so when I'm using nets, what I'm looking at are three or more shapes in here that are going to make up the sides. Remember, most of the work we're going to do is going to have either zero bases, one base, or two bases. So if I see three or more shapes here, then these are lateral faces. So here you can see all of these lateral sides here are rectangles. That automatically makes these prisms. And then I can use the other shapes to determine what type of prism it is. Well, this is a triangle, so this is a triangular prism. This is a square, but you could say rectangle, so it's a rectangular prism. And this one is a pentagon, so it's a pentagonal prism. Here's some more nets. So I'm going to look at these. You'll notice that all four of these, when I look at having more than uh, two sides that kind of match in shape, we have four triangles here, five triangles, three triangles, and six triangles. So this tells me all four of these are pyramids. Remember the triangular faces make up pyramids. Then I can use the base to say what type of pyramid it is. This is a rectangular pyramid, this is a pentagonal pyramid, a triangular pyramid, and a hexagonal pyramid. Now this one here is curved, so it's not a pyramid or a prism. In fact, since it's, you can see there's some straight edges where I could roll this up and put it together, 
hopefully you would recognize that this is a cone and this is the lateral surface here. This one, the lateral surface is this rectangle here. But we know it's not a prism because these two pieces here, these two bases, are not polygons. They are circles. Well, that's a special type of solid and it's called a cylinder. So I can wrap the green part back around and the top circle will cover the top and the bottom one will cover the bottom. Now, we will sometimes talk about vertices and occasionally you'll see the word apex. So I just want to make sure you can recognize those. Vertex is the intersection of three or more faces. So here I have one, two, three, four, five vertices. And you notice these are all faces here. They're all polygons. An apex is where the curved surface meets in a point, such as a cylinder. So this is the curved surface. It's not down here on the edges. It's where it meets in the point right there.